Earlier this morning, Axios, a website, news website, reported that President Trump had told White House officials he wants to withdraw from the World Trade Organization. However, almost immediately, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin disputed the claim. Listen to what he told Maria Bartiromo. Roll tape. Who's reporting an Axios story is breaking news. It's not right. I won't use our favorite word about the fake news. Fake news, but th this is an exaggeration. The president has been clear with us and with others. He has concerns about the WTO. He thinks there's aspects of it that are not fair. He thinks that China and others have used it to their own advantage. But we are focused on free trade. That's what we're focused on: breaking down barriers. Well, that was pretty clear. Joining us now, Axios Editor-in-Chief Nick Johnson, frequent guest on the program. You heard it. You reported that the president wants to withdraw. Mnuchin says immediately that's a, an exaggeration and it borders on fake news. And you say what now? Right. Well, we, the, well, we told the White House we were going to report this. We gave them 12 hours to tell us if we were wrong and they didn't. And I think it's interesting to say that Mnuchin said it's an exaggeration as opposed to it being completely wrong. Look, no one should be surprised here. Anyone who follows the president's rhetoric on trade since his inauguration, anyone who followed Donald Trump's rhetoric on trade for the last 30 years when he was a private citizen, knows exactly what his true North Star, what he really believes. He thinks American workers and companies are getting a raw deal in the trade regime, currently globally. That's why one of his first acts was to pull out of the TPP. That's why he's renegotiating NAFTA. That's why he started trade wars in Asia and Europe over tariffs. And so it stands to reason that if he believes all these kinds of things, he would certainly be opposed to the international organization that is the foundation for that global trade. No one should be shocked, shocked that Donald Trump doesn't like the WTO. But to be precise... You're quoting White House officials who say he wants to withdraw from the WTO. This is what he has not told people. Tomorrow morning, I'm giving an executive order and we're out. Well, he, he would like to, but remember, Donald Trump doesn't follow process on this. He tells, he tells people who talk to us a lot of the kinds of things he wants. Why this is important, why it matters, as we say at Axios, is that sometimes the president doesn't follow that process. We reported recently about, remember, the process on steel and aluminum tariffs. These are things that he was saying privately and then impromptu one day at the White House in a meeting with reporters. He says, this is what we're doing, 15 percent, 25 percent. So I think it's important to understand what the president is saying privately because sometimes he will buck the process and take action. I'm not dismissing this, uh, your report at all. I'm not going to do that. But I would suggest that maybe this is just another negotiating position, another negotiating ploy. And that's perfectly, that's perfectly possible. The White House could have told us that's actually what their plan is on that. But I think the important thing here is to look at it in the broader context. When the president says these kinds of things privately, they very often become public. One thing I would say in Axios' defense, in our reporting, you may remember a couple months ago when we had that scoop about what the president was saying privately about Amazon. Remember who confirmed that eventually was true? The president himself when he went on Twitter and said that Amazon was too powerful and was ripping off the government. When you were sitting there waiting to do this interview, you saw Treasury Secretary Mnuchin, and you saw the question about fake news. He didn't I use did. the expression himself, but he was pretty close. How did you feel? Uh, it's not fake news, but I, I think we're right. We are right. I know we're right. Jonathan Swan has excellent sources in the White House. This is not one person telling us this. There's multiple people who are in the room with the president telling us this. And if you go look at what the reporting we've done in the past that the White House has disputed, it's all been correct. By the way, by repeating it forcefully, you did not move the market at all. We're still I up. hope I'm not moving the market here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're not. Uh, it's still up, 240 points. Nick Johnson, we appreciate you being with us, as always. always Thanks very much indeed, sir. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Okay.